Richard has asked me to bring you a word for Wednesday this week. On Sunday, the church's new year begins with the season of Advent. Advent has been observed in many different ways through the centuries, and there's no clear information on when or why it began. The word Advent comes from the Latin word Adventus, and its Greek parallel is parousia, and that has strong links with Christ's second coming in judgment. The Book of Common Prayer directed people's thoughts to the last four things during Advent, death, judgment, hell, and heaven. In recent years, there's been a shift away from this focus, moving to the joyful expectation of Jesus coming into the world with hope, peace, love, and joy. The Bible reading suggested for this time remind us of the hope that God will finally save his people when the day of the Lord comes. Through what the prophets have to tell us, we know that this will be a day of judgment. God requires us to be faithful to him, believing Jesus is his son and demonstrating concern and action for justice and peace. As the time when we celebrate Jesus being born draws nearer, John the Baptist reminds us of the need for a change of heart. Repentance is not only confessing our sins, we also need to change the way we live so we don't keep repeating the sins. As the physical world around us grows darker and we move towards the shortest day, the light in our spiritual journey becomes more intense. Mary and Joseph, in obedience to God's call, enable the child who will be the light of the world to be born. The days of preparation in Advent give way to the joy of celebrating Jesus' birth and the Christmas season which follows, all the way to Candlemas on February the 2nd, giving us more food for thought. Celebrating at Christmas is the end of our Advent preparations, but it is not the end of the story. The light goes on spreading. The days immediately after Christmas, though, plunge us into the battle between light and dark that John prepares us for in his Gospel. In the first chapter, verse 5 tells us, The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. We begin on the 26th of December, remembering Stephen, the first person to die for his faith in Jesus. Then the slaughter of the innocents, the naming of Jesus, the visit of the Magi, the baptism of Jesus, the wedding at Cana. They take us back and forth through Jesus' growing ministry and the strands of prophecy from the Old Testament that led into Simeon and Anna recognising Jesus as the Messiah. This child is the light for the Gentiles, as well as the glory of God's people Israel. So how will you mark the days of Advent? With a calendar? A candle? Maybe a special quiet time? In our hectic secular world, it's not easy to keep Advent as a time of quiet reflection and anticipation of the joy to come. If you can find a way to take time out from all the frantic preparations, to read God's word, to pray and reflect, you will feel calmer and more prepared for the wonder that is God coming into our world. Let us finish with a prayer. This is the collect from the Book of Common Prayer for Advent. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armour of light, now in the time of this mortal life in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.